think so. It's good, isn't it? Hi, boys. I have some tragic news to report. The Animal Crossing Island has been attacked by the Fun Police once again. Peter have gone onto the island, they've marched in with their signs, and they've gone into the museum where the fish are kept, okay? And they were demanding that the fish were taken out of captivity immediately, okay? They even took the owner of the museum hostage. The bird. I don't know his fucking name, okay? Bear with me, alright? I've got old timers, alright? Alright, if you don't know by now, Peter have made another big brain decision, alright? Instead of actually going to go and protest something reasonable, like, I don't know, bacon sandwiches or something, they've decided to go onto Animal Crossing and protest about the fish which aren't real, alright? They think every fish killed on Animal Crossing is basically the equivalent of brutally murdering a fish in real life, alright? Now, uh, personally, I don't really see the resemblance, but uh, according to Peter, it's a crime against humanity, alright? So they decided to hold a protest outside of the fish museum, and uh, they basically overwhelmed it, and they just fucking took everyone hostage, and they had, like, the shotgun out. Unfortunately, um, they all got away. Uh, we have some footage from uh, the official Peter page. Uh, they were proud of what they did, okay? Which you should be disgusted about, Peter. That is a disgusting actor, all right? Take a look at this brutal footage. <laughs> As you can see here, this poor, poor man just trying to run his museum business has been overwhelmed by angry Peter people and he's just being held hostage in there. Look how scared this man looks. This is absolutely disgusting. I am disgusted. I will never support Peter again, alright? It doesn't really make sense, alright? Peter's always talking about how we should be nice to animals and shit. And uh, what do they do? They storm an animal's museum, alright? And they say that his museum needs to be taken out of business, alright? Which is, you know, a pretty shitty thing to do, okay? Getting an animal to lose his job and all of his income, alright? How is he going to provide for his family, alright? This is going to lead to animal death. That's animal cruelty, okay? You see how Peter are already contradicting themselves? Fucking disgraceful, okay? You see, Peter aren't very big brain here, all right? They're asking for the man to empty the tanks, all right? But if he empties the tanks, all the water's going to be out, all right? And then the fish aren't going to be able to breathe, all right? Which is just going to lead to all the fish dying, okay? And if the fish are all going to die, nobody's going to go to the museum to look at the fish, which also means the owl is going to lose his job, okay? All of his income, okay? He's going to become homeless, okay? Is this really what you want, Peter? You want some video game characters to all fucking die? You know what, Peter? You're disgusting, okay? <laughs> Peter is so fucking dumb, man. They're trying to fucking cancel a video game character for holding fucking fish in a tank, alright? So we're just saying now, everybody who has a fish in their house, alright, who fucking feeds it every day, alright, they're fucking disgusting, alright? They need to go to hell. You know, if anything, it's better to have them in the tanks, because then they're not going to die to all the fucking dangers of the ocean, are they? You know, I think this takes the cake for the dumbest thing Peter's ever done, alright? The fact that they actually think this is going to make a difference and stop animal cruelty truly does fucking baffle me, alright? There's no way that some people in, like, the head office of Peter saw this and was like, oh yeah, this is really gonna push our agenda across. Fish in a video game who aren't even being abused, alright? They're just being kept in fucking tanks, okay? Uh, yeah, fucking protest that, alright? Here's the thing, Peter, that you really need to understand. The fish aren't fucking real, okay? It's like me going around and saying that Sonic the Hedgehog is bad because he breaks traffic violations, alright? Nobody would take me seriously, alright? Because Sonic the Hedgehog isn't actually fucking real. This is why people always see Peter as a joker, right? Because they just do retarded shit like this, okay? Like going outside of like a slaughterhouse and giving the pigs fucking water and shit, that actually makes sense because those pigs are about to have their lives fucking ended, all right? But complaining about fucking pixels in the video game just seems petty and childish, all right? There's bigger fish 
to fry, okay? Like, if you want to complain about the fucking game not being vegan, just don't buy the fucking game, alright? It's not that hard. You don't see people who complain about GTA being a violent game and a bad influence going out and buying the game to protest in the game, do you? No, because that's literally supporting the game. Like, do you really think Reggie from Nintendo is gonna complain that a few people are asking for the fish to be released, alright, and are trying to cancel one of his video game characters? Fuck no, he just wants to go play Mario 64. So, I guess what we can take away from this, once again, is that Peter is one of the most retarded companies I've ever seen, alright? Anyway, gamers, next time Peter makes a brain-dead decision, I'll, I'll be right on that shit, okay? So anyway, gamers, thanks for coming along to today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Stay home, stay safe, I salute you, and goodbye. I just wanna let you know, you're a stupid fucking cunt. Go ahead and run your mouth, pussy, I don't give a fuck. You're a stupid piece of shit, you're a stupid fucking bitch. Get the fuck up off my dick, get the fuck up off my dick. Like, please, end your fucking life, please, end your fucking life. I really gotta emphasize, no one cares if you're alive. You